see your pants back in Germany. Now I'm gonna give you the list of the historical places in this area. We are going to see some of the cultural sites here, but first, here is a brief history. Ansbach is located in the Franconia region in Bavaria, in Germany. Ansbach is the site of settlements from different Stone Age eras, according to archaeologists. The first recorded settlement, however, was the establishment of the Benedictine Monastery in the middle of the 8th century. The town itself was first mentioned some centuries later with the building of a parish church and the charter was granted in the 13th century. The name Ansbach is thought to come from six changes of the local name for a stream, such as the locals called Onelsbach, and it was not until the 18th century that Ansbach became the more popular name. The town officially became an independent margravate with voting rights in the assembly of the Holy Roman Empire until it came into the Hohenzollern hands in 1331 and became the official seat of the Franconian branch of the family. This lasted until the family was granted the rule of Brandenburg and made Berlin their capital, leaving the control over Ansbach to less important members of the family. In an unusual military episode, the Margrave of Ansbach sent 2,500 troops to fight in the American War of Independence on the side of the British. Only a thousand eventually returned on the victory of the American forces, with some 400 having been killed in action, and the rest deciding to settle in the American colonies. Towards the end of the 18th century, the Margrave of Ansbach decided to immigrate to the United Kingdom and the province was taken over by Prussia. It was granted to Bavaria during the turmoil of the Napoleonic Wars and has remained part of the state ever since. Being absorbed into Germany during the unification process in the 19th century. Nowadays, it is an administrative capital of the Middle Franconia region in the west of Bavaria. Despite being much smaller than three other towns in the area, it is also a home to over 50,000 people and host to a nearby U.S. Army base and the Ansbach University of Applied Sciences. So that's the brief history of Ansbach. Now here are a list of the cultural sites in the town. Ansbach Residence it was the government seat of the Margrave of Brandenburg Ansbach. Today, it is the administrative seat of the government of Middle Franconia. The Great Hall and the Orangery in its garden serve as a venue for the Back Week Ansbach. Beringershof, a former monastery courtyard from the 16th century, it stands right next to the Church of St. Gambardus and it is used today as a rectory of this church. The two Renaissance stair towers in the inner courtyard are worth seeing. The Swan Knights Chapel, the late Gothic choir and the royal burial vault with 25 elaborate sarcophagus of the Ansbach mangraves from the 17th and 18th centuries are located here. The high choir of the Swan Knights Chapel from the 16th century was built by the Margrave Carl Wilhelm Friedrich in 1738 with the architect Leopoldo Reti. St. Gombardus Protestant parish church built on the site of the 8th century Benedictine monastery. The three-tower facade was designed by Gideon Packer in 1594-97 and by Leopoldo Reti in 1736-37 when it served as the court church of the Margraves of Ansbach. The Town Hall It was built in 1531 and rebuilt and expanded from 1621 to 1623 according to the plans by Valentin Juncker. The four-story gable roof building in the corner position 
was changed or restored in 1748, 1792, and 1923-27. Today, it serves as the Tourist Information Center. St. Johannes Unlike the Court Church of St. Gambartus, the Bourgeois Parish Church of St. Johannes was built comparatively uniformly in the 15th century as a three-aisled pseudo-basilica. Construction began in 1420 and inaugurated in 1458. Although construction of the towers, especially the higher one, the North Tower continued until 1508. Margrave Museum The history of the city and the principality of Ansbach can be found inside this museum. They are prepared accordingly to modern museum educational aspects. The collections are housed in a charming complex of buildings from the 14th to 18th centuries, which include sections of the city wall that can be walked on. The Kaspar House Department can be explored on the ground floor of the building. The collections from the time of the Margraves on the upper floors, both of which are barrier-free. The annex houses exhibits from prehistory and early history. Synagogue Built in 1744-46 according to the plans by Leopoldo Retti. Desecration in 1938 by the Nazi and then repurposed since 1964 as a museum space. Herriedra Gate A late Gothic substructure Expansion by Georg Andreas Bockler 1684-85 Today's shape is by Johann David Steingruber 1750-51 On its northern side is the Ansbach City coat of arms City Library the unique ambience of the former Margrave's granary houses more than 45,000 media on different areas of interest and knowledge. On a total of three floors, most of which are barrier-free, visitors to the city library can browse to their heart's content. St. Ludwig Bavarian King Ludwig I made sure that each denomination got its own place of worship. This paved way for the first Catholic parish church to emerge in Ansbach. Built in the 19th century with the grant from Ludwig I in 1829. But also with approval of the name Ludwig Skerse in 1830. Orangery Built in the beginning of the 18th century based on French models by Carl Friedrich von Socke who modeled the north side of the colonnades of the Louvre and the south side in Versailles. After the bombing in the course of World War II, the structure was able to be rebuilt in its former glory using old plants. The Hoft Garden The courtyard garden near the residence is built in the French Baroque style. The center of the garden is the castle-like orangery, the premises of which are now used as a restaurant as well as for concerts and conferences. The Rose and Herb Garden Since the construction of the orangery, the tradition of planting based on the 17th and 18th centuries and the culture of the southern potted plants had continued. Lemon Bitter orange, olive, pistachio, laurel, and strawberry trees can be admired in the summer months. Ansbach City Cemetery In June 1461, the construction of a chapel began far outside the city. The distance to the parish church of St. Johannes corresponded exactly to the length of the Way of the Cross of Jesus Christ in Jerusalem. The little church was then used as a pilgrimage chapel with the official name of Holy Cross Chapel outside the walls. After 1521, when a plague epidemic forced the citizens to build a new cemetery outside the walls, 
the chapel served as the cemetery church. Today, there are still graves of important personalities, such as the mysterious Kaspar Hauser or the Baroque poet Johann Peter Us, the first Greek war minister of modern times, Johann Christian von Schumatz, or the Bavarian prime minister Kraft Graf von Karlsheim, who played a key role in the deposition of King Ludwig II. Each of the nearly 150 tombs tells a story of people who loved life. Taste mich durch die Dunkelheit, nur geführt von einem Herzschlag. Keine Ahnung, wann ich durch bin, doch ich weiß, wo es beginnt. So that's it for the cultural sites to see in Adspot. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications! And don't forget to share! And like!